Hey guys, Hi welcome guys. back to Monday with Matt. It's not really Monday, we're posting this on Wednesday, but today we're not working out either because we're making a pumpkin pie protein shake. Mm. The pumpkin spice latte is actually a little too sweet to me, but it very popular and some would say delicious. But this is a healthier option to your morning pumpkin spice latte and you're gonna get a little bit of protein. Um, so before we start though, I want to dis <clears throat> dispel some protein shake mm. myths. Yes, many of them. Drinking a protein shake is not always a healthy option. They're usually pretty high in calories and it's best as a meal replacement, right mm -hmm. Matt? Not yeah. in addition to breakfast, lunch, and dinner, drinking two protein shakes during the day. Right, yeah, you'll, you'll just end up gaining weight. Yeah. yeah, and you don't always need protein if you're trying to lose weight, right? That's correct. So one of the benefits of, of using products like this is that it's chock full of vitamins, minerals, and a relatively small amount of protein, and it's vegetable-based, plant-based. So it, it doesn't really help establish a lot of new muscle, but it helps repair muscle and gives you plenty of enzymes for your body so you can have a healthy day. Um, there are other products that are, that are uh, dairy-based, like whey proteins and stuff. Those are really efficient for building lots and lots and lots of muscle. Uh, but there is negative side effects with those. Um, so the clear choice is using plant-based uh, that will help not only maintain muscle mass, but will help get your muscles ripped without gaining too much muscle ma mass or body fat. And this has some green powder stuff in it. If you don't get this one, you can buy just the vanilla, mm -hmm. um, but then you also have to buy the green stuff, Green mm -hmm. Vibrance. Green Vibrance is one product, which is great. Green Vibrance, I'll put a picture right here so you can see because Matt, tries to make me drink it every morning. <laughs> I haven't been doing it lately though, so I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna dive into this pumpkin pie smoothie recipe, and I'm pretty sure this is vegan. It is 100% vegan. So vegetarian, vegan, lactose free, mm, so everything. I can enjoy it. Yeah. Which um, keeps the calories low. I think that's what we're really going after is keeping the calories low. And it's going to be tasty. better than a dairy filled yeah. smoothie. So even it's going to taste like pumpkin pie. Okay guys, so what you're going to need are some frozen raspberries, some frozen blueberries, pumpkin pie spice of course, your Vega One vanilla protein powder, the vanilla unsweetened almond milk. Matt is very adamant about it mm. being unsweetened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then some pumpkin pie puree. Uh, this doesn't have any spices in it. This is just strictly pumpkin. And we learned that you also need a can opener <laughs> because a screwdriver and a hammer does not open a can. <laughs> okay guys, so the first thing you are going to pour some vanilla unsweetened almond milk into your blender. Mm. We're doing 16 ounces. Which, which is about one serving. So I also just realized that this is soy free but not nut free. So if you have soy allergies, you can have this as well. Mm -hmm. So that was 16 ounces of the almond milk. And so make sure that when you're making these smoothies that you use the liquid first, because if you put the powder in first, it will stick to the bottom. It gets all clumpy. It doesn't matter what you do, how fast it is, what kind of blender you have, it will stick. So liquid first, then everything else can go in next. Now, Evan is going to add We're in the powders. One scoop of the vanilla protein powder. Okay, so now for the pumpkin pie spice. This is one of my favorite spices, and we are going to do one tablespoon, but I don't have a spoon, so we're just gonna eyeball it. And a little bit extra never hurt anyone. Because it has cinnamon and nutmeg, and cinnamon actually has a lot of really good value to, nutritional value to it. Some of so. the most powerful antioxidants, and uh, for diabetics, when people are concerned about their blood sugar and stabilizing it, cinnamon's one of the number one things you can use for that. One of them more. Yeah, I'm, not, yeah. I'm feeling high glycemic right now. <laughs> and then we forgot in the little intro about what you need. You also need some flaxseed oil, which I have roasted flax seeds and it totally changes the flavor of my smoothies, yeah. but you promised that this won't, so. No, it's every, it'll, it'll be buried in the, everything else. Another to me, I think it's, it tastes like sweet almonds. She thinks it tastes like gasoline, but. They use it to make paint, Matt just told me. That's that. if it goes bad. Now, the flaxseed actually is really needed here because it's got essential fats and omega-3s that are needed for the body. Most people don't get enough of them. And furthermore, fats are needed to absorb the vitamins A, D, E, K. That's why the vitamins, really, so you really have good. Them. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's the stuff. And you need a tablespoon of that as well. Yep. So now, the da, pumpkin, da, 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 da. which you're going to do, because da, 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 da. you're going to use a whole can. I'm going to use a whole can. 
could use half a can if you want to be conservative. But yeah, that's pretty close. We're there. splitting in this one, yeah, so. Yeah, there we go. Was, there is so much left in that can. You're <laughs> <laughs> the most well, faithful it's getting, chef. It's getting a little thick, so. Okay, so now we are going to add the frozen raspberries and blueberries, and this is going to make it a smoothie. Um, I was confused when Matt told me to pick up the raspberries and blueberries because I didn't expect those to be in a pumpkin pie smoothie. Mm -hmm. But which you don't have to add, but it adds so many more nutritional items to it. Your daily antioxidants. It's still going to taste like a pumpkin pie, but it's going to be a little bit of a cobbler though. So now lid on. And we're going to be a little ghetto here and <laughs> cover it. And this is your blender. You click the button. There we go. And stir. So fully combined. Okay, guys. So our smoothie is all blended up. It is not a pumpkin pie color. So that's probably because of the berries. And this stuff always turns everything green. So even if you make a really delicious looking smoothie, it kind of turns out gray sometimes. I have to tell you, the smell is amazing. It is, oh, it doesn't twist off, it just comes right off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're pouring this into these cups. It tastes so good. Okay guys, so this is your pumpkin pie smoothie and we are going to give it a little taste test. Cheers. So it's definitely tasty. Mm -hmm. I think yep. if you wanted it to be more pumpkin, mm -hmm. maybe leave out the berries and add a little bit more pumpkin spice. Yep. But this is really tasty. It does have kind of a fruity blend to the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. So the smell is really heavy in pumpkin spice. If you just smell it, mm -hmm. you, you smell would think it's just spices. pumpkin spice, yeah. like a pumpkin spice latte mm -hmm. almost. Yeah. But this is this is five servings of fruits and vegetables in one cup, and this is probably about 100 calories at most. And this should last you for four hours. Yeah, because that's pretty amazing. This was one serving basically, and there's still an entire yeah. two cups this size in here. So I know sometimes when I make smoothies, I start them in the morning, and I'm still drinking them up until basically mm -hmm. what would normally be lunchtime. So it keeps you full longer, and like Matt said, it's only about 100 calories, a lot of your fruits and vegetables for the day. So well done. Cheers. <laughs>